and welcome to the Google Translate iPhone app review. This is West and thank you for joining me. Google Translate allows you to translate words and text into over 50 languages. It's a, an absolutely free of charge app and it is truly amazing uh, the technology that this thing uses. And I, again, all credit to Google for providing an amazing service absolutely free. Now I'm going to show you how to use this app. Um, it's pretty simple to use. Um, I just want to show you some of the finer features and really give it a bit of a test run live and see how it performs. And, and if you speak any other languages, uh, you can evaluate it. Um, but I'm also going to share with you uh, how, how I think you could possibly leverage this tool um, to use for your business uh, and for your life as I always do in these iPhone app reviews. So let's have a really quick tour. Um, this is the page that it comes up with when you first uh, log into the app. Now, uh, I've actually had a bit of a play around with this before I shot this review, so I'm gonna show you uh, a few things that I've, that I've done. Um, but the first thing it asks you to do is, is uh, choose a starting language. Uh, and choose a language that you'd like to translate to. So if I tap on English here, it'll ask me to choose a language. Now, it's got a lot of languages here and you'll notice the little uh, microphone icon just to the side of uh, these languages. Now, if it, if it is lit up um, like so, it means that the app can actually speak the language for you once it's translated which is just crazy uh, I haven't seen any other uh, software free or paid do that um, and Google is bringing it to you in this uh, awesome iPhone app so I'm gonna go with English um, for now just so I can show you an example and I'm gonna uh, also show you once I tap on French here it has the same languages pretty much, but um, this is the language that you want to translate into the second one. So uh, I'm going to stick with French for now. Um, and I've already actually uh, prepared something down here. So I've typed that in and what it's done is it's translated it for me. <coughs> Pardon me into into French. Now I, I'm not a fluent French speaker so I don't know uh, how 100% accurate this is but if you do speak French feel free to leave a comment and let me know. Um, so what it does is once it's translated it, it then gives you a series of options. Now the first one is to star it so you can easily access it later on. Come down to here and it'll, it'll actually go to the, to the starred phrases so um, you, they're all in one place. Uh, this icon here uh, turns it into full screen so obviously if you want to show somebody uh, what um, you want to say uh, then you can just basically you know show them your iPhone or, or iPad or whatever it is that you've, you've got at the moment that you want translated so that's pretty cool um, this icon then gets the app to actually speak the phrase and I'm gonna go ahead and and tap it and, and let you have a listen to um, what the app has to say and how good it is. So it, it sounds pretty awesome, um, and it you know I'm sure any French speakers listening would say that that is very very comprehensible. Uh, so let's um, check out my starred phrases. I'll, I'll just start a few phrases here uh, that I felt might be useful uh, on trips or. Um, if I'm in and around business people and the third button here is just settings uh, telling you about uh, the app and um, a bit of a, a manual on how to use it so let's just go back to to this one and I want to do a bit of a sample um, on how uh, this this app actually picks up my voice so I'm gonna um, try one of the ones I've already done uh, if I say that phrase okay We'll see how it picks it up live and actually I'll go ahead and say something else. Uh, I like to read books because they make me smarter and richer. Okay so you can see um, it's picked up most of it. It's added a word here but um, you know 90% success rate 
Um, and so it's pretty much done that instantaneously. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, let you hear the Google French uh, voice speak it. So if you're French speaking, uh, you'll have to rate that. But I think, you know, it's definitely comprehensible and definitely understandable if you were a French speaker and you didn't know any English. So let me talk you through now some of the things that... Um, some ideas that I had that you could use this app for in optimizing it. Obviously, if you're traveling overseas to a foreign country for business purposes, um, it's going to be good to have an app like this, uh, a tool like this in your arsenal. Um, anywhere that you travel, you know, on the planes, in, in the airport, on, on public transport, um, in, in shops, in stores, uh, you're able to um, take this app if you are unable to understand something, you can just type it straight in here um, and it'll translate it for you. Uh, the other suggestion that I had that I thought would be really, really uh, valuable is to prepare a list of phrases that you know you're going to use on a regular basis. And as I was saying before, uh, if you go ahead and tap on start, there's a, there's a list of phrases that I, you know, um, I've just put in a few here, but if you're going overseas that you, you probably would might want to ask someone in a certain language. So um, in the top one here, where can I find the nearest public toilet in English is, has been translated into French. It sounds like this. Etc. Etc. So that could be really useful in in a business situation where there are language barriers, but obviously where you are wanting to do business with somebody. Um, the really cool thing about this app is that it has Chinese as well. And um, if I just check here, it's got Chinese uh, traditional and Chinese simplified. So for people wanting to do business in China. It's just crazy. I mean, I'm Asian, but I don't speak Chinese, and, and I'm definitely going to be uh, using an app like this if I ever go there to source product. Um, they've got Japanese and just a whole heap of very, very useful languages. So uh, once you've saved the phrases, you know, learn that the ones that you've saved and just be able to be ready to fire them whenever you need them. Um, and you know, use them in local restaurants to order great foods, ask for recommendations. Uh, don't just limit it to business. I mean, when you're overseas, you want well, you want to get the best uh, experience possible. So um, you know, it, it will enable you to eat out at the local hangouts um, that is, that aren't too colonized by tourists. And that's one of the beauties of traveling and um, really going and, and experiencing a place at its core um, and not eating, you know, Western food, staying at Western places uh, if you're an English speaker. Um, same with um, in, in negotiations um, and just, you know, phrases for negotiations that you feel would be valuable. Um, really, really uh, important to get those get your preparation down pat and uh, and so you're ready to, to really pull the trigger when you need to uh, so just one little uh, that's you know, so that's pretty much it one little suggestion I have for um, or recommendation for uh, Google app um, developers uh, just they could definitely learn something from the the dragon dictation app I found the uh, recognition isn't as good as the dragon dictation um, but um, you know it's just still a great app and obviously for it's absolutely free so I'm not definitely not complaining just making a suggestion for ways that I saw that it could be improved um, it, it tends to also recognize your sentence before you've finished um, actually saying a sentence it'll, it'll kind of just stop and you'll have to add it in by typing or, or um, you know say it, another phrase um, but you know other than that is absolutely fantastic app and, and uh, it's free get it from the app store it's an essential app that, it, that you definitely need to have I'm gonna rate this a 93% 
double thumbs up to Google and if you're traveling overseas or have any sort of foreign interactions in your business, uh, you need this app. This is we're signing off and we'll see you in the next video.